The Danny Hope era begins in West Lafayette and the first look for the public at what that team will look like in the spring game. There's Jason Taylor who sat it out as he continues to recover from his injury. It's the gold versus the black. Gold is offense, black is defense for the entire game. Modified scoring system. It's very complicated. Yes. Joey Ellis <laughs> to Keith, Keith Smith. And then a few plays later, Caleb Turbush with the pass down inside the 10 yard line the gold team moving on the black Dan Durking takes it in for the touchdown Durking ran for 95 yards at this point it's tied at six for reasons I can't totally explain <laughs> Elliot to Aaron Valentine the catch on the sideline Elliot was 20 of 33 193 yards now Elliot to Keith Smith Smith led all receivers with eight catches next play Elliot Running right and then finding Smith back in the end zone. Six yard TD for the offense. They go up 15 to 7. I, oh, stop. Mm. Isn't that a flag? I don't know. Should be. <laughs> Later in the second, it's Turbush hitting Jason Werner. But he asked Jason Werner playing for the defense. That is three points for the D in the scoring system. The interception. So it's now 15 to 10 in favor of the offense. Now in the third, Turbush. Let's it go for Valentine. Turbush threw for 183 yards and a first down for the offense there. A few plays later, it's Durking plowing his way in. And the offense wins it by the final of 36 to 29. How'd they do that? I haven't the faintest <laughs> idea. Uh, you saw Danny Hope running his first spring practice when you were there in West Lafayette. Give us a sense of what the atmosphere is like. Let me give you the Danny Hope progression. A year ago, he energizes the offensive line. This past signing day, he energizes Purdue's recruiting. And when I was there for spring practice, he energized the entire team. In fact, the day I was there, he spent more time on defense than he did on offense. I mean, he brings enthusiasm and he brings energy. I do think, in fairness to Danny, we have to understand of all the 12 years that Joe Tiller was at Purdue, these last two teams that Joe had were probably the two teams that lacked the most depth. So Danny's got some work to do as far as building the depth of the team, but he's going to do it 100 miles an hour. Yeah, I'm excited to watch him coach the other positions. We had that chance to see him coach the offensive line as a former player. I love to be able to get that immediate feedback, and that's the type of coach he is so it's going to be great to watch him uh, do that with the entire team but how about the running back Jason Taylor coming back from an injury it's going to be exciting to see him get back out there as well because he's a player that can be quite dynamic not only in the running game but also in the passing game so now to get him back into the flow they held him out of the spring game it'll be good for this offense we can only hope the fro hawk will return with him <laughs> the fro hawk nah. the mini haircuts he oh, has. is that a good look among the first topics on the agenda for Danny Hope is settling this quarterback situation. Of course, last year it was to be Curtis Painter's team. It didn't necessarily end up that way due to a variety of different factors, including Painter getting hurt. Then Justin Siller came out at the end of the year, played pretty well. He's now been dismissed from school. So you've got Joey Elliott, you've got Caleb Turbush. How do you see this playing out? Well, the day I was at practice was the first day that Justin Siller wasn't one of the quarterbacks at practice. And, and if you look at Danny Hope's recruiting, if you look at his personnel, I think it's clear it's going to be Joey Elliott right now. I think Caleb Turbush absolutely will challenge Joey for the starting position. It's going to be basketball on grass. It's going to be, again, back to the future when Joe Tiller first got to West Lafayette. That's the style that Danny Hope wants to run. They're going to spread the field to throw the ball, just the opposite of Northwestern that spreads the ball, spreads the field at, rather to run the ball. So this is going to be the old-fashioned Purdue offense that took the Big Ten by storm 12 years ago. Coach, are you telling me they're going to throw the ball even more? Yes, they, they are. Last year? I, absolutely. They're just going to throw it around. I think they're going to throw it almost every down. Well, I'll tell you, it's going to be exciting. You know, they have to still figure out. They had some uh, new wide receivers come in last year. They're going to need to step up. You talked about all the weapons that they lost two years ago. They're going to have to make the plays this year from the wide, wide receiver position if they intend to throw the ball the way they, they like to. Well, they lost a ton at the skill position. I mean, we've been through it here. Wide receiver, running back, quarterback. The one good news, one piece of good news, I should say, for whoever it is, it's the quarterback, running back, 
wide receiver, four offensive linemen yeah. back, four starters back on offense. All of them are offensive linemen. So you've got a little bit of a foundation Hope's there group. up front. And it's Danny Hope's <laughs> group, and he's worked with him for a year, as you were saying, Coach.